Hello everyone! In today's video, I have made a level system for you to use. Before I demonstrate how you can modify and integrate into your own game, we're so close to hitting 1000 subscribers. I can't believe how far this channel has come and how much support everyone has been sending. Thank you. As we all know, it's almost Christmas, so I wish you all a Merry Christmas. I have been working hard trying to bring you guys quality systems for Roblox games, and I hope you guys know that. Now, in the description you will find this game that you're currently seeing with the shop, loadout, and level system already integrated. If you want to use all of those systems, just open up the game in the description and publish it as your own. Before I show you how to integrate the level system into a game that isn't using my shop and loadout systems, let me first show you how you can modify the level system in the uncopy locked game. To modify the UI of the level system, go into storage UI, main, loadout, and here you'll find the XP bar and the level label. Then you can just modify each of their properties. It should be noted that I put these into the loadout frame so the level bar and label can only be visible when you're in the loadout menu. Otherwise, when you're deployed, all you will see is your level on the leaderboard. Later in the video, I will show you how the weapons with the level requirements work. If you'd like to modify the amount of XP the player gets per kill and the XP goal multiplier, go into service script service, open up kill detection, and on lines 5 and 6, you'll see the values for XP per kill and XP goal multiplier, which is currently 10 and 50. You will also need to go into storage UI, main, level client, and you'll also need to change 50 to the number that you chose for the XP goal multiplier in the kill detection script. As for the weapons with the level of requirements to unlock them, I added a new string value to each weapon folder and replicated storage. Weapons called level. The number you put as the value is what level the player needs to be before they can buy it. If you want to know how to add weapons to the shop system, watch my video on the FPS shop system that will explain to you how you can use it. Lastly, if you plan on using the Young Copy Lock game as is, enable the data store by going into the game settings, security, and enable API services. If you don't enable API services, the game might not function properly. Now, if you plan on just using the leveling system without my loadout or shop system, I've also provided a model in the description for you to use. After you insert the model, move level into storage UI, and move kill detection into server script service. Now you're all done setting it up. The previously mentioned modification steps are the exact same. I removed the things I just moved because I already have the systems in the game. Also, I don't think I stated this before, but my other systems like the loadout system, map voting system, shop system, etc. are systems that also work on games that are not the Roblox FPS template. So don't feel like you have to use Roblox's FPS template with my systems. Let's playtest it. When you join, it will show you your level and your XP amount. Currently I have no XP, so there is no bar. If you open up the shop frame, you will see that some weapons have level requirements on them, such as blast driving level requirement of 3 and burst blast driving level requirement of 2. If you click on a weapon with a requirement, this message will pop up. Players can get 10 XP per kill by killing the other players. Remember, you can also adjust how much XP the player gets per kill. Once the player has the same level as a weapon with a level requirement, the weapon will unlock automatically and the player will be able to purchase that weapon. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please consider subscribing and commenting down below your video suggestions. I wish you all a Merry Christmas. Thanks for watching.